सो हियर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन एवरी वन द वेरिएशन ऑफ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी ऑफ मास टू के जी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम इज डेपिक्टेड इन द फॉलोइंग ग्राफ द चेंज इन मोमेंटम पर यूनिट मास ऑफ द बॉडी इन इंटरवल टी इक्वल टू जीरो टू टी इक्वल टू सिक्स सेकेंड इन एस आई सिस्टम विल बी वॉट नो वी मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट फोर्स इज इक्वल टू रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम विथ टाइम नाउ वी कैन राइट द चेंज इन मोमेंटम इज वॉट एफ डेल्टा टी सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन राइट द चेंज इन मोमेंटम इज इक्वल टू एरिया अंडर फोर्स टाइम ग्राफ सो लेट एस कैलकुलेट चेंज इन मोमेंटम फर्स्ट डेल्टा पी इज इक्वल टू एरिया अंडर फोर्स टाइम ग्राफ विथ साइन बिकॉज मोमेंटम इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी 10 into 2 that is 20 minus half base that is 4 height that is 8. Solving it, change in momentum will be 4 kilogram meter per second. Now we have to calculate change in momentum per unit mass that is delta P upon m. Put the value of m. We have delta P by m equals 2 kilogram will be cancel out simply meter per second. so two will be the correct answer and we will go with option number 1 only moving on to the next question that is question number 12 so here is question number 12 everyone two blocks a and b each of mass 2 kg are connected through an ideal spring of force constant k equals 100 newton per meter and placed on a smooth surface as shown in figure the spring is stretched by 2 cm and the system is released from rest the speed of center of mass of the system when both blocks have same speed is what now since we know very well that the net external force acting on the block is equal to m into acceleration of center of mass in this case external force acting on the system is zero therefore we can write acceleration of center of mass is zero furthermore we can add therefore velocity of center of mass will be what constant it means initial velocity of center of mass will be equal to final velocity of center of mass and we can write velocity of center of mass therefore zero so option number 4 we can go with moving on to the next that is 13 number so here is question number 13 everyone a fixed smooth wedge whose vertical section is a curve y equals x cube by 3 is shown in figure a small block is released on the curve at location x equal to 1 meter the initial acceleration of the block will be what now y equals x cube by 3 from here we can calculate the slope of the curve first of all so slope that is dy by dx can be given as x square now let us calculate the slope at the given instant so slope dy by dx at x equal to 1 can be given simply by 1 slope is that nothing but tan theta so therefore we can write tan theta is equal to 1 theta is equal to 45 degree means at x equal to 1 the angle is 45 degree and situation can be drawn in this manner this is weight at that moment 45 degree downward acceleration gravity g it means it will slide along this line with g sin 45 so acceleration a will be simply g sin 45 or g upon under root Two meter per second square. Option number two, we can go with, which is absolutely correct. So we will go with second option only. Moving on to the next question, that is fourteen. So here is question number fourteen, everyone. Two block of unequal masses are moving with same kinetic energy. They are brought to rest by applying same retarding force. Then we have to consider four options, and we have to pick the correct one. Now. first of all we know very well that the change in kinetic energy is equal to work done now 
since both have same initial kinetic energy ultimately they are being stopped so they will have same final kinetic energy it means change in kinetic energy of the both block it's same delta ke for both block it's same and in this manner work done for both will also be same you know very well w is equal to f dot s retarding force is also given same so displacement s1 and s2 will also be same so both will come to rest at the same distance therefore both will come to rest in same distance option number 3 we can go with moving on to the next that is 15 number question number 15 everyone a physical beam balance of length small l is defective as the location of fulcrum of the balance is not at the midpoint of the balance as shown in figure mass of 3 kg is placed in pan a the mass that should be placed in pan b to balance the beam will be what now according to the question 3 kg is kept here in a and the question is asking what mass m should be kept in pan b so that the system remain at rotational equilibrium so since system is at rotation equilibrium therefore torque or the total torque about this point O should be what zero so therefore we can write torque due to A should be equal to torque due to B torque due to A that is 3G weight or force multiplied by L by 3 should be equal to mg multiplied by 2L by 3 g g cancel out L L cancel out 3 3 cancel out the value of M will be equal to 3 divided by 2 kilogram or m is equal to 1.5 kg option number two we can go with which is absolutely correct moving on to the next that is 16 number